the moment who, who've got family up there and they were telling about how tragic it is and, and seeing little Benny Sinami go through one of the um, Australia's biggest cities and, and, and most beautiful cities was heartbreaking. And to see the kids in, in uh, the centres, uh, the relief centres, is, is, is heartbreaking as well. So, yeah, I just wanted to try and help as, as, as much as I could and, and, and I think everybody's doing a great job. OK, well, Kevin Peterson, thanks for taking time to speak to us here on BBC News and congratulations on that Ashes victory as well. Thanks very much for your time. Now, it is creeping up to one o'clock. Safe is here with the news in a moment or two after weather with Laura Tobin. Hello there. We've had quite a bit of wet weather in our forecast over the last few days and the weekend, I'm afraid, is no exception. But I think a positive note for today. It's been pretty cloudy and I'm hopeful that through the rest of the day the clouds should tend to break and the skies will tend to brighten. Now, we've had a heavy rain today across Scotland, pulses of rain into southern areas of England. Some of it, you can see from the yellows and greens, has been pretty heavy. But as we head through the rest of the afternoon, the rain will slowly clear from the southeastern corner. And then for most, as I've said, the clouds should tend to break, break allowing the promise for some sunshine as we head through the afternoon. Now, six degrees maybe doesn't look very exciting in Aberdeen, but it certainly is milder than it has been over the last few days, just reaching double digits across northern areas of England. Through the Midlands and Lincolnshire, some sunshine to be enjoyed through the afternoon, and things turn drier and eventually brighter across East Anglia and the southeast of England. 11 and 12 is our top temperatures, still with this pretty mild southwesterly wind blowing in. Not too strong, though, today. I can't rule out the odd scattered shower perhaps across the southwest of England and across some western areas as well as being blown in on that breeze. But with some shelter from the winds, a good deal of dry weather and sunshine to be enjoyed. And again, the odd light shower likely in Northern Ireland. Now, as we head through the night, we lose one batch of rain with clear skies for a time, only for another batch of rain to arrive from the west as we head on into the early hours of Saturday. And that leads us on to quite a wet and pretty windy weekend, I'm afraid. It doesn't get too cold overnight because of the cloud, because of the rain, and because of our strengthening wind as well. It's all courtesy of this area of low pressure. It pushes this weather front eastwards across the UK. These isobars pretty tightly packed and that represents that it is going to be pretty windy but also pretty wet as well. We are watching out for some heavy rain for western Scotland and the northwest of England for tomorrow but tomorrow the rain will be in quite a different place to where it has been sitting in the northwest. The southeast looks as though it will be dry and again pretty mild across the board 10 to 12 degrees. As we make our way on into Sunday, our band of rain will slowly sink its way southwards and it looks as though the best of the dry weather on Sunday will be across Scotland and Northern Ireland. Seventy percent of us will never find the right time in life to make a will. But business expert Jerry Robinson is on a mission to help these families work it out. We have to get past this very British taboo of not talking about death or money. Whether you give more to some than others... My money? I can do it all for that. ...cut someone out... ...or even give it all away. I don't really do children. If you don't make that decision, who makes it? Can't take it with you. Tonight at 9 on BBC Two. Labour celebrate after winning the first by-election of the new parliament. Debbie Abrahams comfortably takes the Oldham East and Saddleworth seat as the Conservative vote falls away. The death toll continues to rise in Brazil. At least 500 are now known to have been killed by flash floods and landslides. Thomas Cook is evacuating almost 2,000 British holidaymakers from Tunisia as demonstrations continue against the president. Calls for new guidance on when breastfeeding mothers should start weaning babies as a new review contradicts government advice. And he's definitely a star. Colin Firth wins his place on Hollywood's Walk of Fame, a place he recalls visiting as a child. It's, it's quite amazing to think, you know, and I, I probably trod on that paving stone when I came here as a child in 1972. 
looking for Debbie Reynolds. And it's four to England have lost to Australia by four runs in the second 2020 international in Melbourne. That means they draw the two match series one all. Good afternoon and welcome to the BBC News at One. Labour is enjoying victory after comfortably winning the first by-election of the new parliament. Debbie Abrahams won the marginal seat of Oldham East and Saddleworth with a majority of more than 3,500 over the Liberal Democrats. That's significantly higher than at the last general election. The Conservatives came a distant third as their vote fell sharply. Our political correspondent Laura Koonsberg is in the constituency now. Laura. Thank you, Sophie. Well, this was the first by-election of the year and the first by-election under the coalition government and also the first by-election win for the new-ish Labour leader, Ed Miliband. Now, at the beginning of this campaign, Liberal Democrats and Conservative ministers were more worried about what would happen to Nick Clegg and his Lib Dem colleagues. But the day after last night's result for Labour, it's perhaps the Conservatives who have trickier questions to answer. Well, let's have this report from my colleague Ross Hawkins, which I should say does include some flash photography. Flowers arrived for a Labour victory even before the result was officially announced. I do hereby declare that the said Debbie Abrahams is duly elected for the Oldham East and Saddleworth constituency. Tonight I urge you to listen to the decent people of Oldham East and Saddleworth. Labour's old MP was thrown out because of lies in his campaign leaflets. Its new one secured the party's biggest majority yet in this seat. I think the voters have sent a very clear message. 